We're going to correct a specific event that dominoed into a series of events which led to the evaporation of the black social, political, and economical power. Huh? We're going to correct a specific event which dominoed into a series of events which led to the evaporation of the black social, political, and economical power. A wonderful afternoon, Your Imperial Excellency, conquering mind, king, lord of the world. Good morning, princess. <gasps> a time machine? You invented a time machine! Not by going all, but if the foundation of the structure is wrong, don't keep patching it up, tear it down and start from a new foundation. You know what I want to do first? You know what I want to do first? I want to build a chocolate mansion. Yeah, it's gonna be a million times bigger than Willy Wonka because it's going to be massive! Now let me get this right. Now this is speaking hypothetically. You mean to tell me, provided with such a great opportunity to travel through time, even though you can stop all evil, war, slavery, homicide, genocide, fatricide, mental side, Hunger, poverty, and much, much more. The first thing that comes to your mind is a mansion of chocolate. Triple decker chocolate ice cream sprinkled with nuts. Whipped cream with a cherry on top. And the fool forever remain idiotic, so the wise may forever rule unhindered. I will remember a Marcus Garvey. Who will remember Kwame Nkrumah? I will remember Kwame Nkrumah. Read Marcus. Do not fall victim to the stereotypical myth that if you want to hide something from a black man, you put it in a book. The book of Coming Forth by Day is on the second shelf, eighth on the row in my room. Nkrumah. Like Ngozi, Ndibli, and Nzinga. Just get to the point. Even though George Padmore coined the word, Pan-Africanism, Kwame Nkrumah gave concrete meaning to it. After fighting for and becoming the first black prime minister of Ghana in 1957, he's held on to the belief that Ghana's independence was meaningless if not put into the context of global African struggles for independence and unification. Who will remember Queen Nzinga? I will remember Queen Nzinga. Oh no, that's not fair. Why do I have to sing about her name for? I'm sorry, Laura or Oh, Laura could help it if I was named after one of the greatest African queens. I'm just not feeling too well. Huh? Rulers and conquerors come and go, but the great man's the one stay forever. What? Yeah, like Einstein and Motion, Newton's gravitational law, and all the black inventors. Frederick Jones and the air conditioner, Benjamin Banoka. Richardson with his baby buggy, Charles Drew saving lives with the blood plasma battery, or Henry Samson with Sally LaFone. You will always remember Alexander Mars for the elevator, or George Washington Carver for his many inventions, including peanut butter. What? Yeah, and what would pop music be if Robert Fleming Jr. hadn't invented the guitar? Imagine the road chairs like Garrett Morgan's traffic lights, lawnmowers, refrigerators, typewriters, and much, much more. Marcus, what have I done for the world? What do they remember me for other than a megalomania? Oh, Kofi. No, Imhotep invented the stethoscope more than 6,000 years ago. What have I done? Adios, Odabo. See ya when we're gonna be ya. What is Odabo? Odabo. It means goodbye in Yoruba. What is Yoruba? Yoruba is one of the largest tribes in Nigeria and they speak a language called Yoruba. However, I don't have time to give you a crash course in geography so if we could please leave the question and answers to a more appropriate time and get back to the matter at hand. All right.